How's it going? I'm Matt from Moss Epoxies, and today we're going to show you how to use pre-marked cups to mix and measure your epoxy resin. First, you want to confirm the mix ratio of your product. Not all Moss products have the same mix ratio, but the bottles will tell you what the ratio is. In this case, we're using LV, which is 2 to 1. Next, we need to determine the total amount of epoxy that you'll need for this project. So you can do it a couple different ways. You could do a guesstimate or you could check out our website. We have an epoxy resin volume calculator that you basically punch in the length, width, and height, and it spits out a number. And you can check out the other calculators that are on that site that are really useful that can help you in many different ways. Okay, so back to the mixing cups. This part can be very confusing for some people or incredibly easy. It just depends on how you look at it. So the two to one bar graph basically has a bunch of divided numbers. There's ones, twos, three, fours, fives. Now, how do you use that? And essentially on the left side, the two is part A. So two parts, part A, one part, part B. So you would essentially fill up the line to, we'll say four, and then, you know, with part A, and then using the line on part B, you would fill up the rest of the way to the other four, giving you the exact two to one mix ratio. So just to recap, if you poured up to five on this particular cup with part A, then you would want to pour up to five with part B. Really, really simple. If it's a three mix ratio, some of those exist with different formulas that we have. Yeah, same concept applies. That about does it. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to reach out through email or social media. We'd love to hear from you. 